Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Yeah, what the fuck is good, yo? It's Buggy. What's goody, Brody? It's your boy Rayvon, you feel me? Reddick? Yeah, dude, we, uh, we're just chilling. We're gonna make some music after this, but we got a show tonight. And I said, fuck it, yo, we need to do a podcast. We might as well talk mm-hmm. a lot of shit. <clears throat> talk some shit, baby, talk that shit. So he's all in the Dutch right now. And we're just going to talk some shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Rayvon, what do you do? What do you want out of life? Who are you? What do I do? What I want out of life and who am I? Those are three important random ass questions to ask. I will do. Uh, who are you first? All right. <clears throat> I guess, um, what do you mean by who am I? Are you asking Inside. Because like, you like to dig in people's minds. Yeah, that's what bro. I'm saying. So, <laughs> that's <laughs> why I, <laughs> what I put that one last. Me, but I'm yeah. asking <laughs> What you want out of life? What do you want? What do I want out of life, man? Honestly, bro, I just want to see my family happy, man. My daughter, bro, I want to see her grow up smart, man, beautiful and intelligent. Um, I want to, I want peace, man. I want, I want to live stress free. Um, you know, I mean, what, what I want the most out of life is just seeing my family happy, my family and loved ones, my friends. You know what I'm saying? And I want to heal the world. You know what I'm saying? In global hunger type shit, bro. I really want to see all that happen. You know what I'm saying? Facts, yeah, that would be so dope yeah, to see some yeah, exactly some elevation some ele- of consciousness. Exactly, yes, an elevation of consciousness in the world. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just more people coming together, type shit. You know what I'm saying? All around, yeah. All around. Not like, like World around. War Three. Not like World War Three. On that day three of 2020. That's so gnarly. That that's a weird situation. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, um. Bro. All right, word. So, some people would call that a hippie back in the day. What did I want to? See? See what you just said, yeah. yeah. But that's just uh, we just want everyone to be happy. Stoners, bro. We stoners. I mean, that that's mm-hmm. that's that's what you know. What I'm saying the 420 culture is, man. It's a, you know what I mean. It's more than just like smoking weed, but you know I mean, it's like yeah. I mean, it's, it's we're, you know, if someone yeah. cuts you off when you're driving 80 miles per hour, you're gonna get upset. You're gonna get upset. You know, upset, that's bro. okay. That's right. a high level of stress exactly. in that moment, but that's not anger in a. In a way of just because, you know, unless the person cut you off on purpose. <clears throat> what you mean? And then that person's just doing it because he's a dickhead. He's a dickhead. But then you can still smoke a J and forget about him later, you feel Facts, yeah, it's all a, individual battles. Individual battles. That's why we need to elevate that consciousness, dude. That's what I want, too. Absolutely. All right, so what's your day-to-day routine? What do you do day, day-to-day? Um, what's your main focus? So, um... Let's say I'll start my day by the morning, right? I'll wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I'm technically right now a cannabis grower. I'm a cultivator, you feel me? Facts. Um, I'm not going to say the industry that I work for because it's a podcast, but, um, you know, I wake up in the morning, go check on our plants, you know what I'm saying? Do our job, harvest, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Flower growth. So that 420 shit is definitely a, a part of my life, for real, for real. That's so awesome, dude. My the yeah, guitarist bro. of my band does that too. Yeah, bro. We do, I manage like forty thousand plants per day. Like, <laughs> That's what you know I'm saying? trying to get on. Our company does as a whole. I should say, not me. That's that shit I'm trying to get on, yo. <clears throat> it's lovely, bro. It's a beautiful thing, bro. It can be. It can be frustrating at times, like when you're like dealing with the corporate aspect of it. But well, yeah, that's because it's still federally yeah, an issue, which exactly. is fucking weird. Exactly. All these loopholes you have to do. Can you do? Can you kind of explain to people what exactly you have to do to get an actual medical card? Because I think that a lot of people, a lot of simple as fuck, but a lot of people think that you just get that and then you can just go buy weed. You can though. But not like that. It's, you need to get a prescription. Well, you gotta get you get your allotment and stuff. And like that's that, what right? I, that's what I mean. Can you explain what that is real quick? All right. So basically, um, you know, you say you take a trip to your doctor or whatever, um, and it has to be a certain type of doctor that can you know certify you for that prescription or whatever the case may be. But let's say you go to the doctor, you get a certain type of allotment that you're allowed to buy. You know what I'm saying? Per month or per year. You can buy like an ounce every be. month or something. Or three ounces a three month. Three ounces a month, exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? And once you get your, once you get your prescription, honestly, bro, it is that easy. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is you can't go over. You know what I mean? Once but you go don't over you have to pay you have to get, on top of, like, at the allotment? Don't you have to pay for that? Isn't you got to pay your like, two fees, bro. You pay the doctor fee and then you pay your state fee. And once you do that... Which equals gotta, out to what? Like 200, right? Yeah, something around there, yeah. And then the weed. But you pay for read regular, right? But you don't have to pay for those extra two. That's an extra ounce you could get on the street. What you talking about? But it's a one-time fee, bro. You don't have to do it every time? No. You don't have to do it, like, yearly? 
I mean, you're going to have to renew, like, but I'm saying... I think like, you have to renew it every you month. You have to renew, but is I'm it saying it's not like month? every time you buy weed, you have to pay, like, you know what I'm saying? But isn't it like bucks, month bro. by month or something? No, you don't have to pay month by month, bro. Right. Absolutely not. Well, that's why I'm asking you. Your fucking attitude. No. <laughs> <laughs> not necessary. Nah, bro. That's why I'm asking you to nah, ed- educate bro. me and educate the fucking world. Cause nah, bro, y'all not understanding. It's nah, not like just buying... It's not like just buying... Buying the sh- a card and then you can just go buy weed at any dispensary. It basically not, is like though. That. It's very simple, bro. It really is though. You know what I'm saying? Once you get your card, bro, is you're no longer on your dealer's time. It's basically hours of operation now. Like you mm-hmm. know what I mean? You go to the dispensary and you can buy a fucking eighth or a quarter. Have you had any issues with police since you've been working there? You, no, not at all. I mean, bro, like good, individual, bro, like you good. being pulled over by yourself. I mean, bro. Well, like if like they, and, and them seeing like your medical card or something like have, like harass you. Some cops can still like bring you to court, bro. But once they see all your paperwork and shit like that, you're good. Like if you got your badge on you, that whole like court that, thing like, is so fucking. It's, yeah, it's, like, that's, that's like the bullshit your, though. That's but if you got your prescription on you right there, like your medical card, and mm-hmm. the cops pull you over, you know what I'm saying? They can't do nothing to you, bro. You're fine. Right. You can literally be smoking in the backseat of your car, and the cop will pull up on you, and you show him your car, and they'll be like, all right, I'm medicated. As long as your keys is not in your ignition, bro, you're fine, Because yeah, that's a DUI, you're I guess. You're fine, bro. Word. That's still sketchy to me, the whole... Because, like, 10 years ago, or, like, when I... Yeah, 10 years ago, 8 years ago, when I was, like, I was paranoid to drive with weed, like, just because I knew, like, a tiny grain... Because I got arrested when I was 19 for point zero two, which was basically he scraped up the grass under my feet on what, where my pedal was. Bro? And they took it to the lab, and point zero two was weed. What? Stop and I was man. delivering pizza at the time, so I was just smoking, like, eight blunts during my delivery thing, you know? So there was absolutely remnants of weed, but they pulled me over for bullshit, you know? But... I actually hadn't smoked in the car for like two weeks at that time, and my boys were smoking Black and Mild, so I'm, don't ask me, but Black and Mild's mixed with Domino's, I was delivering for Domino's, mm-hmm. it smells like weed. Like, <laughs> those two combined smells like shitty weed for some reason, well, it's weird. Like, the smell of hot pies on the cardboard, and yeah. the Black and Mild. So the cop fucking harassed the shit out of me grabbed my dick hard as fuck <clears throat> like all that shit oh uh, you want some gay shit yeah and he fucking had a cu- dog go oh, wait, in my bro, car you probably beep that out I'm sorry I'm perfectly friendly <laughs> to the LGB uh, <laughs> community or whatever dude alright just correct yourself I guess yeah. just in case so, <laughs> people yeah, are gonna take that snippet please y'all uh, don't crucify your bull bro people are gonna take that snippet I got gay family members you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm not like that at all. Like, you know what I'm That's I'm not so a, funny, I'm not bro. I'm not a person. I love everybody. <laughs> but yeah, the cop was just being a dick because he likes to then... Yeah, they try, basically tried to give me probation for that, but I um used my conditional discharge. Mm-hmm. So I didn't get charged for it, but I would have. So think about that. Like, Think about being it getting sponged, but then think about like all the fines you paid. Well, I should be reimbursed. We should, bro. I got caught for weed, too, bro. I funny. should be reimbursed. I was with Leak. I was with Leak. My boy Chase. Hold up, hold up, bro. I'll save let that me, Leak, let me, I'll let save that leak story for when Leak's yeah, on when here. Leak's here bro. Let me stop saying names, first of all. This is pleading the fifth to the government. I don't know who's listening. Oh, yeah, you're anymore. learning. This is, <laughs> you can't be dropping this names. This is allegedly right here. I'm excuse me. Let me dial that back a little when bit. When you tell bro. stories. <laughs> I forgot the mic was on and shit. I'm like, look at this nigga. But anyway, <laughs> that's so okay. Funny. I'm with my homies, bro, and the cops come, bro, because they was fucking with the white boy, you know what I'm saying? They, they was playing with him and shit, but he kept getting out the car when we was, um, you know what I'm saying? And he Who was kept getting like, out the car? Allegedly, uh, my man, Taco Bell, chasing him getting out the car, you know what I'm saying? And um, <laughs> he fucking, this lady walked past, she ended up calling the cops and shit, so... You know what I mean? I just had rolled up an L out of my fresh eighth that I just bought. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the worst. Cop, yeah, it always bro, happens right when you, right get, you it. get it. Right when you get it, bro. So the cop came, bro, and like, my first instinct, bro, was just the, you know what I'm saying? It was the, run, bro, I, I barely, bro, barely, you know what I'm saying? And I had flip-flops on, so I was just like, fuck, bro, I'm definitely getting caught out here. I was going to kick him off, bro, but I was like, man, ain't worth it. Threw the Dutch away, threw my bag down, bro. I was like, fuck, I turned around, bro. It was like, officer fucking... <laughs> Someone who's there. Ass. Well, wait. Uh, so you just ditched it? You just threw it on the ground, or you bro, were, you were in the, the car? L away. I threw the L away, but you I were in the car. Bag. Nah, I ran out the car, bro. I was oh, you were running? Yeah, I How was old were you? bro. I was like nineteen. 
Oh, yeah, you can't be running once you're past 18. Yeah, once bro. you turn 18, that's why I stopped. I was like, fuck. You cannot run from a cop. Yeah, that's so why I was like, man, these niggas gonna catch me. I'm black out here. <laughs> he about to definitely try to And then if a cop hit me, bro. Yeah, as far as running from me. cops, any kids listening, if you're doing some dumb shit or whatever, don't do it after 18. Yeah, but anyway, it's still gonna bro. fuck you up. Anyway, but, they arrested like, like, me, bro. Threw me on the car, all this bullshit. They was extra with it. That's how I knew I was like, you know what I'm saying? Throwing me on the car around and shit, bro. Cut my bag off of me, empty, threw my bag out. You know what I'm saying? Dumped it out, type shit. <sighs> Took Where me down, bro. <sighs> yep. That's crazy. Was, yeah, I got. I got to save that. I got to save the one story for when leaks. Yeah, I'm not going to tell the story. Right well, now. his I'm name's already leak. Will be on this in the future. Yeah, so. leak will be on here. So we can name drop him at least. So is that the, like, only, is that the only time you got arrested? Yeah, bro. It's the only time you caught for anything, bro. Wow. Like, so did you use your conditioner? I, yeah, I did, bro. But then I went and failed the drug test type shit, bro. And they hit me with these fines. Well, bro. that's what you can't do. You bro, can't they scheduled the me. They scheduled scred- me to join too early, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? They're too scheduled. early. Yeah, they're supposed to give me a couple weeks for it to get out my system, bro. They scheduled me to join like two weeks afterwards. That's not enough <laughs> yeah, time, bro. I had to finish my bud that I had at the crib. I wasn't throwing it away, dog. Bro, you should have <laughs> saved it. It's that's hard, dude. No that's really hard because I had to stop. I didn't have to stop at that time. Well, when I was young, the first time I got arrested, but when I got my DUI, I had to stop because I had to go to these. On top of sixteen AA classes, I had to go to sixteen meetings, which mm-hmm. weren't AA classes. They were like pretty much just teaching you facts about alcohol, which was dope. That was they taught like all the fa- statistics. Oh, they send you to the meetings, bro. That's statistics, crazy, shit bro. like that. But they can they can randomly test you every week if they wanted. So for sixteen weeks. I technically couldn't smoke. The guy was mm-hmm. cool and only tested me one time, mm-hmm. but I still, just in case, didn't yeah. do it. Because, mm-hmm. God forbid, I go in on my last day and I have to do 16 more and pay more fines. Yeah, bro. Like, at the end of all that shit, bro, I ended up quitting weed for like two years almost. Bro. Well, yeah. I, when I quit, I just, until the sec, the day I left, me and Gina, mm-hmm. stone, of, of course, got stoned as fuck. Yeah. And when I quit, that motherfucking nigga Tony Vega. I'm saying his name. He gonna bring weed to my crib. Like hit the, he was forcing me, bro. Uh, and that's when I got back going. It was Tony. I remember. Smoke, bro. I was trying to get all y'all to smoke back in the day. I was the only stoner. Yeah. But that's 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 because of where I grew up, though. That's the weird thing about the difference between Marlton and Collingswood, because you would think Marlton is like the nicer place, but that's where everybody was doing drugs. It's crazy. I went to Collingswood and was so shocked that no one smoked. No one in high school yeah. smoked, bro. Think about it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? None of us did. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. <laughs> no one did. And, like, I did, though. I was a heavy, heavy stoner. And I was trying to find the stoner crowd, and there wasn't one. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to smoke. I wanted to wait till after high school, but that was, like, one of my lifetime goals because weed was around me my whole life. Yeah, you wanted to wait. Shit, bro. I wanted to graduate. I wanted to be the first one to be like, yo, I graduated and waited to smoke and all that dumb shit. Like, I did that you know with what drinking. Mean? Yeah, but we see what that did to me. We see what that. I just try. I just. There's a thing when you start when you turn eighteen, nineteen, start going to house parties. Yeah. You're just partying a lot. Once you turn twenty one and you're drinking every day, five days a week, you're an alcoholic. Yeah. And I wish I was wiser at that time. Stopped. I wish I stopped drinking. <sighs> way sooner before I got my DUI, but I celebrated. Boy, I used to drink too heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. What were we just talking about though? The Right before that, um, no, no, cannabis or some shit. That's just stoner shit. <laughs> cannabis is <or> some shit. <coughs> yeah. Whatever. So, um, here we are, the day before the Philadelphia Eagles. Fucked up, dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Cowboys fan, y'all. <laughs> yeah, fucked up, dick, man. Y'all had every opportunity. Yeah, we did. But yeah, Jason Garrett would have clapped through every loss, bro. Oh, well, he just claps. He like walks and claps. That's all, that. yeah, that's all you do, bro. That's, that's all you do. That's fucking great. Yeah, but bad culture, but we looking at people. We looking at the boy, Mikey, uh, what you call it, from the Packers, you know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be getting interviewed today type shit, you know what I'm saying? We see. We looking around, you feel me? Our team is looking fucking good. Football's over, dog. <coughs> Football's over. I'm on. I'm on this basketball, you feel me? Let's go. Yeah, the Sixers are so good, but they're not, too. It's weird. They're like the Cowboys. <laughs> no. No, not like that. Yeah, we need a new coach. We needed a new coach. We needed a new coach. I've been saying get rid of Brett Brown. Who cares if he's so stayed with us through the bullshit, man? He was a job. He was getting paid. <laughs> like, oh, he was a job. To stay with us through he the bullshit. He do his job. 
Yeah, and like it's the end of the games. And that's how we feel about no, Jason Garrett. You know no what I'm saying? Coaching. Yeah, all these years, you know what I'm saying? You ain't do your job. You don't step in and be, you want to be a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we got to be, we got to make the finals this year. No. I think we can in the East, yo. Oh, so you never did shrooms yet? <laughs> nope. Never did shrooms, bro. Just switch the job dial. Switch it up. I never did no type of hallucinogens, bro. I don't fuck with it. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I want to go on a bad trip. That's why I never did them. Well, you only go on a bad trip if you're thinking about that. Yeah, and I'm always, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with that shit, man. You'll be too in your head. I will be way too in my head. I'm always in my head. I get in my head when I'm smoking weed, bro. I don't need none of that shit. Where? And you just be like, yo, come on. Yo, like, come nah. on. Nah, you like, can't nah, do it bro. like that. You can't <laughs> be pressured into that shit. I wasn't pressured. I, I pressured my boy into it. I was like, I'm good, bro. Cause well my boy my boy was had already done it I mean, and it so I so he already knew and he was comfortable with doing it again so I was like word let I'll, be, I'll be comfortable doing it with you and he kind of had a slightly bad trip but I didn't no I remember when niggas was smoking salvia and shit bro what shit who the fuck was doing hell. that that shit was funny as hell bro like that's embarrassing one of my boys I'm not gonna say but one of my boys was smoking salvia he was sitting on the couch bro and he grabs my next meal you know what I'm saying next to him. He was like, yo, they trying to suck me in, bro. And he said it was like this vortex behind him, bro. And they was trying to like, it was trying, somebody was trying to pull him through this vortex, bro. It was crazy. Smoking wet, funny, dude. Walking. <laughs> Nobody smoking that. Fucking walking and wet, dude. That will. That's yeah, you're embalming a fluid. You dip it on a blunt and then smoke embalming. That's fluid. the thing, bro. I don't need nothing else. You the shit that weed, you bro. put like, in why? a dead body. Yeah, to why? Keep it what, fresh. What's the point of smoking that, bro? Like, come on. Yeah. What is the point of smoking that, bro? I don't get it, bro. I know somebody who smoked that shit, bro, and they jumped out the fucking second story window, bro, for no reason, bro, because they thought somebody was chasing them. Like, what the fuck? Why do you want? Why do you want to fucking? Uh, and it's everybody, so sketchy. everybody looking at you, bro, like you retarded, bro. Like you just doing this shit in front of everybody. Like people are gonna find know? shit. Remember when people were smoking like Tide Pods or something like a, t- a year or two ago? Oh yeah, that was like yeah. Like, like dumbass, like, dumbass people are always gonna f- find a way to abuse something. But they should regulate some of the shit though. My fuckers love acid, bro. I never did that shit either. I don't really like. I don't like acid as much as shrooms because they're like, yo, acid changed my life, bro. Like the way once, as soon as I took it. Well, it did change my life. Like it did do <clears> that, <throat> but not everybody would react the same. Like you're saying, like no, just like some people are allergic to peanut butter. Like some people are weaker yeah, and stronger in different ways, and that's right, not bro. even a not in a condescending way. I'm allergic way. to penicillin, so I can't be fucking around, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, bro. Because if allergic? I get if I get allergic reaction to something, that penicillin is what they use to cure your allergic reaction. So <laughs> oh, like, shit! I'm super fucked. That's crazy. I can't fuck with nothing, bro. The way I would describe it is, acid sits you down and tells you what you need to learn, and shrooms you can choose what you want to learn. That's how I would describe them. And it's like people, obviously, shrooms is more of a body high. You still, like, hallucinate a little bit, but acid is basically all head. One of my people you know? said he took shrooms and went to the Phillies parade back in, like, 08 when they won the parade and shit. That's a weird. I wouldn't go to a he parade on there. shrooms. Somebody else told me when you take acid, you gotta have, like, an ounce with you because you just chain smoke bud and shit, some shit like that. I actually don't smoke. You you don't get high. That's why you smoke a lot of it. So the chain smoking, but like that's what I'm saying. It doesn't it does yeah. It doesn't even really get you stoned. But I can't like trip and go to like a fucking parade or something. I like being like I need to feel safe. Yeah, everybody says you gotta do it with a couple of good friends. You feel not even like I like honestly I like I always I found myself the past couple times of doing it just wanting to be alone, wanting to learn shit, like just look up shit online, like anything I have in my brain. Like, it really is, like, a learning... You could use it as a learning thing. But yeah. people who abuse it, like... For instance, my boy Cash, I think he abused it. And I think he went so deep into yeah. the trip and just saw this reality that was never going to change and he wasn't happy with this reality. So when he came yeah. back to a clear, sober, more sober head, he wasn't happy at all. So it did the complete opposite for him. 
you know? Yeah, that's why I don't fuck around, bro. You never know where your mind gonna take you. I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, that's no, that's what I'm saying. Not you, so, but no, you I'm saying, saying yeah, in general, I'm saying so. So that's what I. That's where I'm coming to. You'll have a bad trip if you think about a bad trip. You know. So like, if I feel like that's why, like when I'm, I, I, I won't do it at like a concert even either. Because I know I still got to ride home in the car or, or whatever the case is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you, bro. So I've done that, but I've driven home tripping mad times. Like, the last time that I... The week before I had to give my license up for my DUI, I was going to go to, like, a Disco Biscuit show, and I took a bunch of shrooms. Mm-hmm. And right before the show started, I just couldn't stop thinking about the fact that I was about to lose my license. And that my shit was about to be over. Yeah, so instead of right. going to the show and enjoying anything, mm-hmm. I drove tripping from Philly back to the shore and just laid in my bed. <laughs> just laid in my bed and just thought about the future and what the fuck I was going to do and tried to manifest a reality that did happen for that at that time. I mean, it showed you what you needed to do, man. Yeah, what you needed to it, work on. It bro. did. Oh, yeah, it, 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 that's what I mean. So, like, you it is time? very, very, very beneficial, but to people who are already headstrong... They don't need yeah, that. I don't need that shit, man. Yeah, they don't need that. I don't need it. I'm good with a little herb, you know what I'm saying? Facts. But, like, what, what people mean is, like, it, it changed their life and made it better. That's the thing that no one can explain to people who haven't done it. Because yeah. that's, it's like, the plus side of a person like you who is headstrong, think about, like, instead of the bad shit that you would think about, mm-hmm. it, it doubles and quadruples the other things, you I'm know? Like it, this, connect, it connects shit. I got a lot of shit that I got to work on, bro. So it's just like, mm-hmm. I'm going to be thinking about that. I got so much, so many, like, unfinished projects and shit like that, bro. There's no time for me to relax, bro. And when you're taking them hallucinogens, bro, you got to be able to be, like, you know what I'm saying, relaxed, dog. And I don't have time to relax, bro. It's not really like that either, though. That's what I, I mean, that's what you I know? get from people, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like... Because I'm not, like, relaxed, per se, when I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, really well, like, awake, yeah. uh, thinking about shit. Like, and that's the thing about it, too. It's, like, you're not gonna even... Not that you won't want to do it again. It's, like, you're not even gonna be able to do it again for, like, a couple months. Because it's so profound, the things that you... It's like... See, like what, too much science behind it, That's what I mean. I when it, <laughs> <laughs> I just find that fucking smoke a hell, bro. Like, it's too much science It's too it. much, it's, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Yeah, I don't want to have to go through all that, bro. Just the, <laughs> you don't want to ask why. That's pretty bro, much what acid is. Much, acid just bro. makes you ask the question, it's why? Too much. What is this? How the fuck did we ever come up with making shit like this like how did we how did we make glass how did like that's what acid does it makes you really go to the core basics of what the fuck we are because you thirsty nigga that's why we made them bottles i am thirsty i've been every every two minutes i'm gonna take a (laughs) sip of this it's almost gone you need something to drink on the go bro you need something to hold your water it don't take acid to figure that out my mouth is dry as shit (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but acid would make you be like yo why is my mouth so dry why do humans you know what I'm saying get dry like, that's, that's when you go in the saying. bathroom and you brush your teeth and you rinse your mouth out and you look at yourself that's when you're like oh shit <laughs> I look way yeah. weirder than I thought I did <laughs> It's like when you look at yourself on an iPhone yeah, camera, yeah. and it's like, and you see, like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm ugly, uglier than right, I thought. Exactly. I'm an ugly nigga, bro. I'm ugly. <laughs> bro, when you go to take your selfie, bro, and then shit just pop on. Bro, yeah, oh, shit, no, I'm not going to post that, anything bro. today. Especially if it freeze on that face, bro. It's just like, oh, fuck this picture, bro. <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> yo. Phone back it's all about pocket. the angles and the lighting. <laughs> it's like, nah. It's all about the angles and the lighting. Yeah, man. So what do you want from 2020? Same thing I wanted out of 2019, bro. <laughs> what was that? More cash. <laughs> success, bro. Success for real, man. I want to be time free to be able to do my own thing, bro. Just live my life the way I want it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to work for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of person that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts. Yeah, man. We're all like There's that. No, nothing changed, bro. It's the same shit, a different day, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just a new year, bro. Another year older, another year wiser type shit. Are you going to actually put your shit in motion? That's what it is. You can say, oh, my New Year's resolution is this. Come on, man. Yeah, you got to do that shit months <clears> before. <throat> I learned that last year. I learned last year that I started my my working out and shit in January. Mm-hmm. And it was after I had eaten all the cookies. Mm-hmm. And it didn't work. But, like, right now, it didn't work at all. But I've been working out for three months now. I started three months ago. 
So this is like no sh- I think nothing. Like your New Year's resolution. With. My New Year's resolution is just to be more consistent. That's about it. Man. Yeah, that's why I'm just dropping shit, dropping and dropping. If and I was to have shit. a resolution, you know what I'm saying. But I've been doing shit. I've been holding on to shit for a reason. Everything is then for a purpose. So I can't really say that I haven't been doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, timing is everything. Yeah, time but is everything. Time isn't you know promised saying? either. So I tell people, it's like so it's a that's thing why between. that's why I'm moving yeah. with a sense of urgency. Because I was I was thinking like that, like yeah, like there is a time for shit, but at the same time, what if I fucking a car crashes into my room right now? That can happen. Like look at the road. Like a car could just swerve right here. Think about it from coming from over here. I always think about that tree blocking, but it wouldn't. Yeah, bro. I don't know. You thinking too hard? I'm like, just. I'm saying. Period. Anything <laughs> could fucking happen. That ain't happening. Bro. No. <laughs> it fucking could, dude. Let me see, bro. Coming from down that street, if they just oh, swerve, yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Because they got a big lo- a yard. Yeah, but you got this whole fucking pillar right here that's stopping that. You got what pillar? This little stone. What? Fucking... That's not even a curb, bro. Trust me, bro. I'm talking going like have to be I'm talking going like 40, 50 miles per hour. Yeah, that's not breaking. You know, oh, we put your head. With right my here. head right here. I'm done. That's what I mean. Like I'm done, done. Don't move your bed, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, that just means I gotta drop everything. Come on, why'd you fuck my blinds up? Shit, my bad, bro. You know me. <laughs> I'm yeah, but like I'm, I'm. It's it's a little irrational, <laughs> irrational what I said, but th- yeah, that's what I mean. Like anything could fucking happen. I realize like if I die, I have four hundred fucking songs that no one's gonna know how to drop, what I wanted them to be called, shit like that, you know. So, and that's what I mean. The improvement too. We're always improving too. So as an artist, yeah. when you hear a song, there's always gonna be some songs that when you hear, no matter what, like the one we just heard earlier, mm-hmm. like that's a timeless song. That song was amazing, yeah. you know? But yeah. sometimes you hear songs you made a year and a half ago that you thought were fucking amazing, and you're like, I don't I think even, you should just do singles now. I don't even really fucking... You got so much music. You can no, I'm do doing singles and stuff. albums and yeah, DPs. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing everything. You fuck it. Lot, you got a lot of content, bro. Yeah, fuck it. Stack that content Yeah, this counts as content. Yeah. This counts, yo. <clears throat> This is like a timeline. This is like the podcasts are going to be like the main timeline of where I really am. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mentally, just because you'll hear what the topics I we decide to talk about and shit. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? What do you mean? I mean, we talking, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, if we trip together, Let's that would be the about funny. Money. If we trip together, y'all would be the funniest money. shit ever, dude. Money and hoes. That's hilarious. Money. That's what you want? Money and hoes. I got money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy is stoned, sitting next, Sorry, crammed in between the treadmill and the, and the dresser. Yes, bro. In my little box, you feel me? In my little zone. Everything I need in life is in here, <clears> dude. <throat> my laptop, which has all my music, the mic, the treadmill. Some dumbbells, a bed, a TV, and a candle. And a pull-up bar. That's out back. I know, but still. You gotta get a heavy bag, bro. I have. My dad's giving me his, yo. And it, I need that. You should get the heavy bag. It's complete. Just, so I have nowhere to hang it. It's just complete. Get a stand. Mm-hmm. Then you get the tarp on it when it rain and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? I got tons of different favorite animals, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm an animalistic person, bro. So, like, I, I like hawks, bro, and ravens. Like, I like lions and wolves. Remember I when like I asked you if you could be anything right now, what would you be? Yeah, but I was playing, bro. What did I say? A vulture? Turkey vulture. But <laughs> <laughs> when I just asked you what your favorite animal is, the first thing you said was, like, a falcon. A, like a raven or a fucking lion, a bear, a wolf. Like, those are... Why a raven? Because ravens are, like, you know what I'm saying? Use your good luck. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can send them to do messages and shit. They were smart. Bro. You can send them to do... <laughs> so, like, see, so, excuse me, I'm high and stuff. Does that even work? Yeah, anyway, Did that ever... Was that real? Man... Sending listen, messages and shit? If you go to, like, the environment With a pigeon and, and shit stuff? Like that, people just, like, really train falcons and shit like that. Come back and sit on their arms and shit. Like, you can train, well, yeah, but you can not train to birds, carry like, messages to... 7-Eleven over bro, there. Bro, listen, bro. That shit's real, bro. <laughs> that shit's crazy. It's like, nah. But nah, if I if I had to pick an animal, it'd be... My three, my top three would be either a bear, 
a lion or like a, a fucking like hawk or something. Hmm. Mm-hmm. An eagle. Be like the biggest bird. I don't want to say eagle because I'm not an eagles fan, bro. So that's like, are you talking to be them or have it as a pet that does whatever you want? Yeah, both, bro. Both. I think a polar bear would be dope. Like, if I could be a shapeshifter, I could shape. I would shapeshift into those animals. Like, eagle, eagle. Or just like a a puppy that stays a puppy forever. Nah. <laughs> yeah, but you could train it so it gets smarter, but it stays a puppy. Or a kitten. You mean like a wolf? Like a kitten. Um. That's what you have? Yeah, like a baby lion. <laughs> like yeah, like a cub. You were raising from a baby, of course, bro. I no, no, but it stays a baby. No, nah, I, I don't want it to stay a baby, bro. I need a full I'm grown. talking about other stuff. I want a full-grown bear, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bears would fuck <clears> shit <throat> up, dude. Who do you think would win in a fight? What, a bear or a lion? Like, the strongest land predators. It's got to be between, like, a polar bear and a fucking... Tiger or something. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Probably gorilla not. versus lion. Gorilla versus a bear. No, gorilla versus lion. I don't know. I'll take the lion. I'll take the lion. I think the gorilla going to run. Gorilla versus right? polar bear. Because the gorilla's just like a human, bro. You know what I mean? But they got like big ass canines and shit. Gorilla versus bear, though. I think the gorilla will win because it's more like, you know what I'm saying, agile and fast. I think bears got everyone beat. Bears are slow. Bears bears are not slow. They run like 30, 40 miles per hour. I mean, like, against a gorilla. I don't know, bro. I don't know. (laughs) You just got so bad. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't thinking. fucking know dude <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite sound as far as instruments go this is turning into an interview yeah that's tough bro I don't know cause man there's so many different sounds out there bro. I like, pianos flute. And, I like uh, acoustic guitars pianos and you know what I'm saying guitars definitely acoustic mm-hmm. hmm yeah. If I had those two instruments, bro, there's nothing that I can't make. Keyboard, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh, God, I wish there was video so y'all could see how schlumped he is I'm right fucking now. Done, bro. I'm fried below. I'm below. fried below. <laughs> 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 I let it go right there just to see, like, hey, if we let you lead this conversation, this is where it's going, to bed. I'm (laughs) fried. It's going to bed. In the beginning of the combo, you were talking loud as shit, and now you're like... Yeah. It was like, yeah, let's do it, bro. He's like, all right. Type of shit. We're done, man. No. (laughs) (laughs) We see we got to run through the set again to wake your ass up. Yeah, we do, bro. What time is it? Oh, we got mad time. What time is it? 2.30. I still gotta go to the crib. Yeah, we got time like a motherfucker. i probably drop you off at your pops when I go to the crib. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, too bad. Just for a few minutes. Why? What do you have to do all this extra shit for? Cause, bro. You don't gotta do nothing. That's what I do right now. Nah. You trying to go take a nap? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, bro. I'm good. I'm Where the hi hat at? Where the hi hat, man. <laughs> Hashtag with a hi hat, baby. You feel me? We're we're gonna go to this Philly show tonight. Maybe I'll use a picture from the show for this thumbnail. Fuck you guys. Bye. Is that forty minutes? Say bye. Is that forty minutes, bro? Yeah. That's thirty three. That's enough. Uh, you know, shout out everybody, you know what I mean. <laughs> Shout out everybody, we backing it, I forgot. <clears throat> we backing it up. We back, you feel me? Let's get it, you feel me? Let's hit the bubbler, bro. We ain't even get the bubbler on You the- don't want to hit the bubbler, I don't want to hit the bubbler, but I'm going to hit the bubbler for them, though. I got to do a salami, Sammy. Don't tell me. Oh, it's right there, too. Oh, it's already packed. It's fully packed for a salami, Sammy. No. We should taste some of your weed in it, too. Let's do it. 
I'm gonna try and hit that in one hit. Here's confirmation that it's stuffed. Here's confirmation from oh my from gosh, from the no pack it, it pu touch it. Touch, I mean poke the no, top. It's I see. I believe you, bro. I believe it's you. like it's in there. It's in there, man. <laughs> it's in there, man. <sighs> Gotta do the Michael Phelps breathing technique. <sighs> Everybody with me. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. What's up, nigga? Usa. You got three more inhales to get your bowl bubbler bong packed. Never mind, that's the last inhale. <laughs> no, nope, keep going. Keep it going. <laughs> nah, you let that out too fast, bro. You ain't hold it in long enough, bro. That's why I don't be wanting to go through that. Shit burns your legs, bro. You throwing fire right now. Ah! You put ice in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an ice cube before I do that, bro. I'm not doing that without an ice cube, bro. You can't feel the ice cube. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see that, bro. Feel it. There's nothing in it. Feel it. Oh, no, let me get this. Test it. No, poke it. What? To, to test that I hit it all. No, I, I believe you, bro. I believe you. No, bro. it's for them. Oh, let me test it, bro. Here, let me test it <laughs> for y'all, bro. For y'all one time, you feel me? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? My man <clears throat> cleared the joint out, bro. Here, bro. I'm about to pack this joint. Hold up, bro. Welcome to the Buggy Olympics. I'm about to do a little indie. Indie? Little guy. Where's the ashtray? Woo! <clears throat> Merry Christmas! <laughs> I never referenced that. I never referenced the day. It's January 4th, 2.36 p.m. January 4th, 2.36, bro, 2020, you feel me? Uh, Yo, uh, it's gonna Scully wind up. season, you feel me? <laughs> Don't forget, you dig the website. It's gonna wind up being about to drop. 40 you know minutes. what I'm saying? They're really selling out fast, so I'm sorry, bro. People are getting aggravated with me. I just want to apologize, yo. <laughs> limited collection. Please don't be mad at me. I love y'all. Yeah, that's what I meant. Come tell soon, people what bro. you fucking you do. You know what I'm saying? You didn't tell them you have a clothing line or nothing. <clears throat> well, look, we still got three minutes. Stop looking at the fucking clock. I didn't. I just, I just, ever since I put the clock up, he's been fucking staring at it. No. <laughs> Relax. Cheater. I'm calm. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> so what he means, guys, if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? I have a clothing line. Um, it's designer type of shit. That's what we, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're aiming for. You know what I mean? It's called Ravon Reddick. Um, follow that on Instagram. Um, I also have an apparel page. That's Ravon Reddick Apparel. Um, Follow that on Instagram, soon to be Ravon Incorporated. Um, X Ravon Radici. Coming soon. <laughs> uh, all that, you know what I mean? Lost Gang, coming soon. I have an album, Somos, coming soon. That's S O M O S. Stands for Some of My Old Shit. If you guys didn't know that, <laughs> that's on the way, too. I'm gonna see your uh, tour. Somos. Somos. <clears throat> Where's the little lighter? Right in front of my face, too, bro. That's yeah, dude. You gotta thing. hit all of it, dude. Nah, bro. That's good. Yeah. You did more than I thought you would. <laughs> the bubbler's so clutch, dude. I used to have a little joint, bro. 
Anybody, if you want to get a nice home piece, it's called an inline bubbler. Just type in inline bubbler in Google. They're about sixty to eighty dollars, and they're the shit. Mm-hmm. Clean them often, but they're off. Yeah, it looks like it's a pain in the ass to clean though. Uh, nope. It just fucking tastes great. <sighs> It does taste good, though. All right, shout out to all my stoners. <clears throat> it do taste good. Yo, shout out to the stoners, baby. Get with us, man. Tonight, pull up. We have bourbon and branch. You feel me? This will be dropped later. Or I'm, I could drop this right now. Fuck it, we I'll drop, drop a it clip now. of it. We drop a clip of it. Just no, drop it clip. now. We're not using a thumbnail picture from tonight's show. We'll use it from another show. <laughs> Say bye, Ravon. Ravon. Yo. <laughs> See y'all.